Good morning. And it is a good morning. I just woke up. I woke up before my alarm. It's about 8.30, right? Is that what it said? Yeah. I was thinking 9.30, but if I'm up, I'm up. So, yeah. Just got done. Oh, you're here. No, just kidding. <laughs> just got done with an everything shower. Isn't that what they're calling it these days? Which is really nice, including shaving, you know. And, yeah, let's start the day. Not like this. I'll fix this. <laughs> It's the birthday vlog. Right now, I'm doing my makeup. Hey guys, just wanted to do an outfit of the day as I got ready for the day. So, this is a Princess by Vera Wang dress, floral dress. I love the colors. It's blue, pink, and purple. Love the details. It's, I think, from TJ Maxx, or it could have been Ross. I don't know. It was a long time ago I've had it since I was like, well, now I'm going to age myself, but I was like in high school. <laughs> um, Still fits, still works. These are just low top converse in a nice peachy kind of color. The bag is Amazon. It's just kind of like a banana boat type bag in a pretty pink color. So yeah, that's the outfit. Here's the pattern. And yeah, I don't know. Oh, my bruise. Let me show you my bruise. Do you see that? It is so bad. Look how big it is on my thigh, just to the left of my knee. So. I work two jobs. I work at a school as a parent and I also work at a daycare, the closing shift right now. And my friend was there, my, my coworker was there and she tripped, she biffed it over the gate trying to step over it, like the baby gate. And of course it comes crashing down on my leg. <laughs> and I held back tears, I did not cry. It was bad. <laughs> Yikes, can't do nothing. If we're on empty, can't do nothing with no gas. <laughs> can't even focus, he's so stressed. Yikes. <laughs> Yay, she's happy now. Yay. I told you guys this. I have anxiety with certain things, and one of them is getting gas. I don't know why. It's not like I'm going to blow up. I'm afraid I'm going to blow up. Like there's going to be a problem with the administration of the gas itself, but it's just the social anxiety aspects, like I'm around people, around strangers, I might have to go in and talk to people. Today I did, so I tried pumps three and then also one, and my card wouldn't go through. It's just supposed to slide through. If you use your card, you just slide it through. And it was like blocked and jammed, so I couldn't get my card through. So I go in and they say, those are the two pumps that aren't working, and I'm like, okay, of course, they're the ones that I went with for today. And so then they said just to go back and go from one to nine, so I'm in nine, and that's the one I'm at right now yeah i just checked um there was a guy here and i was like excuse me sir can you help me i felt really awkward and shy i was like can you help me and so he said that's so weird that my card won't go through and i was like yeah that's what i said and it was just kind of funny so yeah d dilemma with that now it's 11 11 that was supposed to take up like no time at all but that took so much time but yeah let's go do the errands the fun things and stuff the fun day i've been excited about this for so long because i've been meaning to do it and then i would put it off and it's just going to feel so good to do it and just treat myself and have a day to myself and just enjoy. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to awkwardly show you. Here's the proof. I'm here. I've arrived. She told me the only thing is, is that it leaks. And so I'm like, do I just drink this now? But it's so cute. Ah! Guess where we are? You know that symbol anywhere, right? And just in time too, I just finished my drink and I have to pee so bad. Ah. 
<laughs> I feel so goofy. I went in the changing room three separate times because I would leave and then find, see and find more stuff. And I put some stuff back. Uh, I'm pretty decisive. I'm almost never unsure when I buy stuff. I just like it, so I buy it. And that's what I did. So I bought two things. It was about $50 total for each. And you'll see them here. Okay, so this is by the brand Joy Lab. I think it's like their fitness stuff. This will be great. I'm trying to run outside. Even when it gets colder, I want to work up my resistance to my exercise-induced asthma, which has improved over time. Anyway, um, this will be great for the fall and the winter. It's this bright, like, hot bubble gum pink. No, because the bubble gum pink is lighter than this, and hot pink is brighter than this. I don't know what color this is. It's pink. It has interesting seams. I think they're really cute. And it looks loose, but it fits like a crop sweater. It's a size extra small by Joy Lab. And really cute. This was like 35, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 32. This guy, super pretty. I love bralettes. I wish I never sold my collection, but they were actually getting too small for me anyway, so I guess it didn't matter. I sold them because I was going to get a boob drop that I never got, <laughs> you know. Um, they're all turned around. Let me see here. It's this pretty pink lacy bralette. And the nips are covered by material. Basically, all of it, the rest of it, is a nice sheer lace. It's a pretty pink color, and it's boiling in this car. Oh, my gosh. Um, this one was $15. And the brand, what does it say? Auden, A-U-D-E-N, I think is how you say it. So really cute. And on to the next stop. Time check how we doing. It's a little after one and we are at the DI Deseret Industries thrift store. Can you see? The sun is glaring. Yay, I'm so excited. And now let's do the thrift trip haul. So this is from Deseret Industries, as I said. I got movies, one, actually I like two books, I don't even remember what I bought and I just bought it. Um, and then a sweater. It's funny, I went to both Target and the DI and I never came out with a dress. That's crazy. Okay, so Bridesmaids, crazy story about some Bridesmaids. Bambi, this, fun fact, this was Disney's favorite film that he did. Not so much film, but like animated m m movie, I guess you'd say. But I love Bambi, I don't own it, my parents do. And then this is the Bratz movie, which I've never seen, which has got to be funny. And they've come back. Like, we're in the 2000s era right now. Like, things from the 2000s and the 2010s are coming back, and it's so funny. Um, yeah, I spent, I think, like, 15 in total. It came out to be 15.37. So those are the movies. Here are the books. And there are people walking by. So I'll pretend that I'm on my phone talking to somebody. La da dee, la da da. And they're parked literally right next to me. Okay, that's awkward. Just act natural. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Okay, this is P.S. I Love You. When Mom wrote, she always saved the best for last. And it's just quotes from Mom and not my mom, but someone else's mom. And it's just really cute. Like one of them, don't be afraid to go out on the limb. That's where the fruit is. I love you, Mom. And it always says, I love you, Mom, at the end. And that's just cute. Like, I like small books like that. Like, a daily read, like a daily dose type of thing. This is The Dog Next Door. It's actually two books in one by the author Cindy Kirk, and it seems like it's a romance, but it's also about a dog. I don't know. I'm kind of confused, but I'll read. I do want to read more, and I do need to breathe. I need to turn this up and turn the camera off. Okay, was that everything? Oh, it's not everything. I didn't even try this on. Okay. Oops, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I've been wanting a turtleneck. I had a big oversized pink one a long time ago, and this is like my replacement for that. I was trying to find the perfect one. There is a slight stain, like a bit of a smudge. It's kind of gray in color, but I can just fold the collar down and it's fine. It's by French Connection in a size small. This beautiful baby blue kind of color. And I like the seams down the front and back. And it should be a cute little turtleneck. Okay, that was that. And here we have a little clip of me trying on the blue sweater. It's so cute, and I love it so much, and not much to say about it, but, uh, it's nice, right? <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? All these bees? I just want Wendy's. I don't want bees. Look! Like, 
I just parked and it all came out of this tree to attack. I need to repark. Okay, I just hope that I can even park here, but at least there's no bees. <laughs> can you see it? I'm awkwardly showing you one. This is making my car smell so good. So what I do is I get the number four, the chicken sandwich type thing. I don't even know what the real name is. It's just number four to me, but it is so good. And I do the combo with fries and drink. And today I got a Fanta. Usually I get a high C, but it's a Fanta fruit punch flavor. So let's do a little taste test. Sizzling. I'm going to let it sit in my fridge for a while so that it will be less poppy in the mouth. Because <laughs> I don't really like pop. It, it stings my throat. It burns my throat. <laughs> I'm such a baby. But yeah. Um, so what my plan is, my plan of action, is go to my apartment, drop off the things and stuff that I bought, and then I'll pack up my laptop with earbuds. Can't forget that. And then I'll just go to the park and eat my lunch. 2.14. It's pretty good. Pretty good for time. I still have the rest of the day, so yay. Aqua dance. <laughs> you know me, I love my aqua dancing. Um, not mine specifically, I just love the act of doing it. The act of awkwardly dancing. But anyway, um, so I had a little outfit change as soon as I got home because it's not a movie night. It's a movie for one, me, moi, and it's a movie afternoon slash evening. So I cannot wait. I had to get in comfy clothes. These are actually boxers that my brother Dakota never used. And they're basically new and they're probably from the early 2000s. <laughs> I have a few of them. And then this is just a Walmart hoodie with tassels in a pretty off-white kind of color. So yeah, let's enjoy this night. Yeah. Guess the movie. Why do I have two copies of the movie Bride Wars, you may ask? Because I know for sure one stops like halfway through and will not work. And then the other one is hoping and praying that I can replace the one that doesn't work. <laughs> we'll find out. I am so excited. My movie collection, and yes, those are Twilight <laughs> movies. Um, it has grown. It's doing pretty good. Um, so back here, the pink. I think that's what it is. Yes, I just took a peek. That is Bread Wars. Um, that one does work. It played all the way through. It never stopped. So the other one I'll have to dispose of. But yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. This was much needed and long overdue. It was about time. I had to do this. It feels so good. I'm still going to do smaller things like tomorrow. I'll paint my nails. But just small things to treat myself. To make myself smile and happy, you know. And it wasn't a lot, it didn't cost that much, it wasn't too expensive. I do this every now and again, and the thing is, if you make this more constant and consistent, it loses its special value. Like, it's not as special or important anymore, it doesn't mean as much anymore. So if you treat yourself in this way, you take a day, like every now and again, it's so nice. It's a pick-me-up, you feel really good, you get to spend time with yourself, remember you are your own best friend. And you can to have dates with partners and with friends and hang out with other people. But to have it with yourself is really empowering too. So I highly suggest to do this every now and again. And it just feels so good. It puts you in a good mood. It puts a smile on your face. And it's just such a boost. So it was so good. And I'm now I'm tired. <laughs> I got out of the apartment. I've been everywhere. I've been a half hour away. I was on the road for over an hour like with travel time and everything. And... It just, it feels great. So I'm feeling really good. Okay, bye.